Hey everybody, Bruce Elise, Core Multimedia Solutions, out in Brownwood, Texas, at a lake house. We get a lot of these lake houses. Guys, if y'all have a lake house, we will set you up. So this client has uh, got the coolest lake house because this is one of his houses. Then he's building that, or he built it already, that addition to his lake house. So... Uh, what he didn't have was a kick-ass audio system that made sense. So we added a bunch of Sonos to his house. We actually built him a network. And uh, as you guys can see, this is his coffee patio. That's the name of it, coffee patio. Because sometimes you got to get coffee on his cool patio. So out here we added three speakers, one dual channel speaker right in the middle left and right uh, Sonance uh, speakers outdoor tied that into a Sonos amp so in sometimes in some of these houses that we do they don't really make a lot of sense so we have the privilege of making them make sense from a networking perspective so one of the things that we end up doing is adding wireless access points creating one single network uh, creating multiple little areas that we can add either a an amp or a switches or wireless access points so uh, one of the things that we ended up doing is uh, we've been working on this for three days now is in here in the kitchen we ended up doing a play one up there and here we're actually doing two play fives and a subwoofer Jesus is pulling the magic together yay and uh, so Jesus had to crawl up that little area right up there because only he's small enough to be able to do so. But he uh, <laughs> he laughs. <laughs> so one of the things that we have to do is crawl in tiny, tiny little spaces. So people go, hey, what is an audio video company? And uh, it's, it must be cool to to put in some 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 music and whatnot. And how, how, most of the stuff that we end up doing is construction and uh, then trying to figure out ways to get wiring from point A to point B. So if you can tell right here, there it is. So we ended up pulling wire from one part of the house to the next part of the house and adding uh, what's gonna be another mini little hub. So Jesus right here is, you can see we got a wireless access point. Boom, right there. We got a little network switch in there. So you got a network switch. We have a Sonos amp. Then we also have two Sonos Play 5s. And then we'll have a sub in the corner, all of which are going to be hardwired. So you can see the little sub in the corner. Uh, ultimately, we try to hardwire as many things as we possibly can. Why? Because keeps everything off of Wi-Fi and out here at the lake in Brownwood it's not like they have the strongest internet signal on the planet so we tried to really use as much hardwiring as we can um, I'll walk you through the house these is we're hopefully wrapping up this evening that's the game plan but they wanted audio throughout their home or their multiple houses so it's getting a little dark over here but uh, see if we can turn around all right so here's one of the living rooms so this is their current living room so he wanted a singular music system that made sense that wasn't going to be complicated and uh, we ended up doing a Sonos Arc uh, we have the fortunate opportunity of being direct with Sonos and uh, which gives us the liberty and opportunity to get certain products first prior to market. One of the challenges with COVID that we've had, as many of you know, is that we can't get anything. And uh, so we were finally able to get some ARCs. So we put in a Sonos ARC, got them a new TV. So they upgraded from a 10 year old TV to a uh, 65 inch TV. I think it's a, it's a Samsung. I forget what I get everybody. It's Samsung, Sony. It's a whole different topic of conversation. We have a subwoofer over here in the corner. He wanted some depths of sound. 
and uh, that subwoofer is actually wireless. Everything else is hardwired. We ran uh, new cables from his router. We actually put in a new router to uh, the back of the TV. Again, hardwiring as much as we possibly can. Uh, you heard me talk at length about hardwiring uh, network versus keeping everything on, putting everything on Wi-Fi. Um, in the bathroom here, walking around, we added a Sonos One. You can see that little guy sitting on the corner. There just happened to be an outlet right there, which made our lives a lot easier. And walking through the house, which is really, really, really cool. I know y'all are probably getting dizzy, but it is what it is. So up here, um, let's see if I can turn on the light switches. Okay. So in here, you uh, had a TV, different type of sound bars. So you had multiple sound bars, different manufacturers. None of them really did a bunch of music stuff, so we ended up with Sonos Beam. And he's a huge, huge uh, music guy, so in order to have depth in every single room, we uh, had three subwoofers in this house. We actually added another subwoofer, and that subwoofer is actually right behind here. So this may look crazy to you guys let's see if y'all can see it look at that so woo, there's a sub all right what is all that well his current provider ended up coming in and doing what they normally do which is find the easiest spot on the planet to put a router in and we didn't have any type of networking closet. And we also had to connect both properties. So uh, that became our new network area. We ended up hardwiring to this TV and then to that TV and then that area. We have two wireless access points, one on this side of the house, one on that side of the house. Uh, that's on this house. And then we have another large wireless access point on the other house. So I'll show you how that looks like. I'll walk through. And these great, great people are kind and trusting enough to have left us to freeze our butts off out here. And hopefully we won't get any uh, danger tonight driving back to uh, DFW Metroplex. But absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous view. As you can tell, it's still partially under construction, but this is the new addition to their lake house and uh, beautiful beautiful area so we had the opportunity to uh, add some speakers so we got a pair of Sonant's uh, Mariners 8 inch up there and then we were waiting for two more to be over there uh, back ordered like so many products out in the market um, I'll show you what the boys are up to in here it's probably loud because they're been cutting holes in this custom wood ceiling and let's see so we get a tv to mount up there a sonos art up here you can tell we went ahead and installed eight inch seven amps speakers and then here is our adjoining little cabinet And continue to walk around so what you saw there was three Sonos amps one Sonos port that ports connected to a crown amp that crown amp pushes our outdoor speakers and because of the size of the speakers that Sonos little baby amps not going to be able to handle it here is yet one more little network closet we have a wireless access point um, a buddy of mine uh, Jameson out here who helped um, he owns an IT company and uh, great if you're actually out here in West Texas and you need some IT support uh, he's a great guy to call feel free to give me a holler uh, but one of the things that he allowed us to do was uh, provided us the product that uses that pushes uh, internet over the electrical lines um, really actually it worked pretty well uh, I'm very very happy with it 
uh, it was a great solution because there was no wiring between the AV, the third AV little cabinet, to uh, to the, his uh, coax and IT closet. So we had to connect both. Now, one of the things that we have here is a pair of eight-inch Sony speakers, and then in the garage we decided we had the opportunity to. Ooh, look at that. One, two more speakers. So, uh, really cool project. Uh, we've been working on it. We had to come up with some creative ways to uh, get Wi-Fi in both areas of the house. So, we have three wireless access points, two in that house, one in this main house. We uh, ended up uh, hardwiring and connecting each one of his TVs to the network. He is going to be streaming content to each uh, area. And as you can see, the boys are on the last and final in-ceiling speaker. Uh, one of the cool things that we did was we put uh, square grills um, to match all his lights. And spectacular. So um, if you're wondering how we come up with these cool solutions, man, uh, a lot of years of practice, a lot of design work, a lot of solutions. Oh, uh, you can see right here uh, a little conduit from outside this house goes underneath the house and then in, and uh, that's how we connected both houses uh, with network. So, uh, very, very cool. We're excited to be out here. Like I said, I'm freezing my butt off. I think it's like 20 something degrees uh absolutely gorgeous they're going to be partying and having a blast out here on this patio uh, thinking about having some fun out on your lake thinking about some cool solutions man uh give us a holler uh we'll make your day we got some professional professional installers so much so that even homeowners and cool brownwood texas open the doors to us uh, have enough faith uh, in us to do right by them and in this day and age where so many people don't trust a lot of people you can trust us to do the right thing by you take care of your house take care of your music systems take care of your internet take care of your security um, bruce solis core multimedia solutions we have a spectacular team of great great human beings and professionals Peace.